All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we have a new thing we're going to call Monday Morning uh, Rewind. We're going to talk to a uh, high school football newsmaker from the past Friday night. We'll probably extend this into other sports as well. I uh, want to start out with Marsh Park running back Jake Newman had a career high 29 carries, a career high 192 yards, and a come from behind win against Hickory Ridge. He was the man on the game winning drive. He, he led him all the way down the field before quarterback Lucas Lindhoff threw a pretty touchdown pass in the left corner to keep Myers Park undefeated. And uh, Myers Park now, Jacob, has a clear path to the Southwestern 4A championship. How big a win was that for you guys? Uh, that was a big one for us. Uh, they're a really good team and they're coached really well. And we knew it was going to be a, a, a dog fight. It was going to be a four quarter game. And we just we wanted to take advantage of every opportunity. And I think we did that down the stretch. Tell me about your running style. I mean, uh, you, you you run hard, but you also got a little speed to you, a little shiftiness. Uh, tell me about your style. Uh, well, for me, I'm just uh, – every time I touch the ball, I'm looking to, you know, make the big play. If not the touchdown run, then a really big run for my team. I want to always put my, my offense in a big position to score. And, you know, it starts with my offensive line. They, they make everything happen for me. So if it wasn't for them, you know, that, that 192 yards, it wouldn't even be possible. So I think my O-line gets a lot of credit for – you know, the stuff I do, but they do an amazing job. Has it been tough for you, Jacob, because I've known you for a while. You were a big time star in middle school, football and basketball. And in high school, you really haven't had your coming out party yet. You know, you have some good mm -hmm. games in basketball, but in football, you always kind of wait behind your big brother, Tim, who's a Presbyterian now. You're a junior. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys in your class are getting these big time offers. You're not there yet. Has it been tough to wait? Uh, absolutely, it's been tough to wait, but you know, I, off season, just working, just getting better, because I know at some point my time's gonna come. I'm just gonna keep, keep be patient and you know let God you know take it take the will for me, and you know I'm just hoping you know, when my time comes I'm gonna be ready, and you know it's I think this year is gonna be my coming out party for everybody around the country and around Charlotte to know who my, what my name is. Yeah, um, you look like you're really strong this year. Tell me what, what you're benching, what you're squatting, and, and what was the offseason like in COVID? I, I know your dad's a crazy man because I, I once yeah. – his dad, uh, Tim Newman, played pro football for the Jets and was a star of Johnson Z. Smith. I met your dad pulling a Volkswagen up mm -hmm. a hill with a rope. Mm -hmm. So tell me what crazy stuff did you have you doing this summer to get ready in the offseason with COVID to get ready for the season? Yeah, and that's crazy because just he always mentions that story to me, like how y'all first met. Yeah. But my dad, you know, this offseason, he was like, well, I played basketball and football, but this year I didn't play basketball. I focused more on football. And, you know, this was my first year I could really focus on one sport. Yeah. So my dad was like, got to take advantage of this opportunity. So I was in the weight room every single day, squatting, benching, power cleaning. And then after after that, just getting out, running miles, running sprints, you know, getting in shape, getting ready for this time right here, right now. And, you know, I was probably squatting. My max was probably now like 300. I can probably bench around maybe around like three. I'm not really sure of how much I can bench. <laughs> I was going to say, you probably squat more than you bench. Yeah, I do. I'm not really <laughs> sure, though. But, you know, just just making sure I was ready for this this time right now was big for me. Like I wanted to be able, I wanted to be able to carry the ball 32 times. I wanted to be able to get stronger as the fourth quarter went on, you know. So this right here, it was a big. The off season was really big for me, and I feel like it's really um, it's it's showing now. What's next for you? What do you, what do you want to go from here? Um, first of all, I'm just a team guy, so you know, team wins. I'm happy. I'm not. I'm not about you know, my personal success. Yeah, that's that's all fine and good. But, you know, the main goal of Myers Park football every year is to win a state championship. And I feel like that's the big thing for us. You know, my success can come after we win a state championship. So that's the biggest thing for me, I feel like. All right. I got one more question. Now, I know your dad, he likes to short haircut and you got it kind of long right now. How you, <laughs> yeah. how you convince him to let you let that hair grow out like that? I don't know, man, to be honest with you. He 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 nags me all the time about that. He's like, man, cut your hair down, cut your hair down. And you know, I I, I really feel like I'm I'm gonna cut it down soon, you know. It's football season, you know, a lot going on. I'm 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 probably gonna cut it down. I don't really know. That's a really good question. I don't know how you like me. You better keep that hair because you'd be like me and be leaving you when you get older. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Appreciate you, Jacob.